looking? No. <laughs> Today we go to Kenzo. The Galerie Vivienne in Paris is the theater of a major comeback. Kenzo, the hip hop royalty comes to salute and show respect to the new man at the helm of Kenzo, the Japanese design superstar Nigo. It seems like the Grammys okay. in France. Pharrell Williams in diamond glasses. Tyler, the creator, who will take care of me. Oh, don't kill my nigga, man. You good? You all right? <laughs> Julia Fox and Kanye West. Pushati, Gunna. You the goat. And an exclusive interview with the master, Nigo. Hello, I'm Luc Prigen. Subscribe. Yes, subscribe to my channel if you want to see the fashion action. You can also watch all my other videos. Leave a comment about flowers. Hit the notification bell. And thank you for watching. This is January 2022 in Paris. This is Nigo backstage right before his first Kenzo collection. Nigo famously founded the label Billionaire Boys Club, but also Bape and Human Made. He's a DJ, a producer, a collector. He collabed with Supreme, Comme des Garçons, Kanye West, Louis Vuitton, and Virgil Abloh. Comment l'idée de faire un défilé Kenzo Ça me fait super plaisir, sachant que c'est un designer japonais, c'est Nigo, et j'avais hâte de voir euh, la fleur iconique <rire> et tous les accessoires qui vont avec. Vous êtes une des, des mieux habilitées à piger, parce que vous avez les deux, un pied au Japon, un pied ah, en France. Bah, c'est vrai. Comme non, lui. mais du coup, c'est un vrai honneur d'être là aujourd'hui. En plus, il y a tous mes amis au défilé, donc je suis super contente. Hey, hey. hey. Hello. Yeah. I like this one. Yeah, it's, it's very fancy, right? Yeah. yeah. It's very fancy. Oh, you guys. Yeah, we're matchy, matchy. Yeah. It's so comfortable. And the, the beautiful bag. The beautiful hat. <laughs> First Kenzo show, um, it feels great. Kenzo is a really big brand for me in New York. New York Kenzo and stuff like that, so it's like big, big for me. J'ai eu ça à la caméra. Le presque bisou, genre. Ouais. Go 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 go! It's mine. Models backstage are watching the screen and freaking out about the guests arriving. It's Joma. Oh my god, Joma. <laughs> just there. Everyone don't give a shit. Fait moi le cul, Taylor. Fait moi le cul de ouf. Non, 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 attends, j'ai rien dit là. Ça c'est. Non, non, c'est bon, on annule tout. 20 minutes de retard, Kenny West. 20 minutes Ouais. The rapper Gunna is front row smoking a cigar. Already wearing prints from the collection that's about to be shown. Steven Victor of the music label Victor Victor sits next to Gunna, already wearing the Kenzo blanket. Pharrell Williams and Tyler, the creator, made the trip. Pharrell says hi to fashion designer Yoon Han. Julia Fox and Kanye West are in the Galerie Vivienne, chatting with Tyler, the creator. The whole squad is can you West salute the LVMH onchos? Not zooming on the Balenciaga boots would be impossible. He made the effort to wear them, we make the effort to zoom on them. Can you West poses for photographers? And madame? I like, pro I like profile. Yeah, yeah, I love. Hello, Tyler. May I ask you why is it important for you to be here? Uh, because, hold on, don't kill my nigga, man. You good? You all right? <laughs> you good? All right. <laughs> yeah, why is it important for you to be here today? Uh, cause Nigo, wait, I'm coming right back. Stay there. Will we see Tyler again? Tyler, the creator, lives for a picture with Kanye West and Pharrell Williams, a holy trinity, some might say. J Balvin bumps into Pharrell. Is it Galerie Vivienne or the Grammys? Pharrell says hi to Frédéric and Delphine Arnaud. Tiffany. I'm back. Very cool. I'm back home. Pushati handshakes Farel. J Balvin wearing a white version of a coat that's also from the upcoming collection. Actually, it seems that the fashion show has already started. And look who came back to finish our interview, Tyler the Creator. I told you I'll come back. For me personally, um, uh, Nigo really shaped how I seen uh, clothes 
uh, with color palettes and and all over prints and things like that, which is super, super important to how I approach uh, making things. So uh, to see him get this opportunity, uh, whether it's bad, good, great, or not, whatever, I wanted to be here specifically for this moment, just to see him just hit a new level. 20 plus years, 30 years into his career, like that, that's really, uh, it's beautiful. Love. Oh, and I love that bookstore. She's amazing. That day I was wearing my hat from the bookstore OFR. He goes my brother, and I've learned so much, and uh, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for him. So many of us, and um, I'm just I'm just so excited and happy for him, and wouldn't miss it for anything in the world, you know? Nigo, Kenzo, human made. It's a beautiful time. Can I ask you why is it important for you to be here this morning? Nigo. Who is the boss? Yeah, Fox poses with a Schiaparelli denim bustier and Carhartt pants that were sold out worldwide a few hours later. True story. Of course it's important to support Nico and wear Kenzo and it's also I'm here to push P. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what do you like about Nico? <laughs> I love the I love his creations. I love how He's been in the game so long and he's still here to this day and he teaching even my generation yeah. because he was here before my generation. So, longevity. What do you like about his style, his vision? It's creative. Um, all, all like, everybody who wear fashion and love fashion, we, we, we go to him first, like him and of course Virgil, God bless the dead. You know, good creators. Yeah. Where is your necklace from? <laughs> It's from Eliante. This is this is my label, Shady Babies, my brand, and the cross, because I'm blessed. <laughs> How much does it cost? Uh, it's about 170, about 170. <laughs> Tyler chatting with Pushati. Backstage, first models are ready to go out. Can the reboot is about to start. One, French Tartan student spirit with a new logo in a red frame on the sleeve. Look two, French Tartan with a flower belt buckle. Hana dot print. Hana is a Japanese flower. It's all over, super simple, super recognizable. Original fashion sketches by Kenzo Takada are printed on garments, a clear way to go back to the roots and spirit of Kenzo. Kenzo arrives in Paris in 1965 and earns his first money by selling his fashion sketches. This overall is inspired by workwear and ceramist compatible workwear, as Nigo is going through a ceramist phase. On his heart, the poke flower, a red flower that blooms in February. The first capsule to be sold from this collection is called Bokeh Flower and was instantly sold out. The medals show the face of Kenzo Takada or a shield or a Bokeh Flower. There are also pins with the running tiger or Japan souvenir badges. The print on his bag is called Pop Bouquet. It's from the summer 1988 collection. On his shoes, it's Poppy, an icon of the house which also appeared in 1988. On the denim, you can see the intricate technicalities of the overalls, workwear being always an aristocracy of tailoring. A poppy comes out of a pocket. This Japanese denim which says I'm easy going but I know Swiss typography. Suddenly they're wearing a field of flowers, the chaos of nature which is the DNA of Kenzo. The Kenzo archive is full of 3000 flower prints painted by Kenzo himself and his teams. Mustafa wearing the yellow version of the field. Poppies, giant ones. Red, blue, smaller ones, different poppy prints. Kenzo as the brand of spring, the hopeful brand, the countryside but in the city brand, June brand but all year long. The fabric is cotton because in the beginnings, cotton was the only fabric Kenzo could buy at the Marché Saint-Pierre in Paris. He was cotton, cotton, cotton. Even for winter, he would do only cotton dresses, which was a bit of an issue, so he did a concession and did quilted cotton dresses. I love this anecdote. 
This made Kenzo a very affordable designer, a darling of the press, a prince of ready to wear. He's wearing an all over print that Nigo and his team called Jungle Camo. Jungle Jap was the name of the first Kenzo Takada shop and the walls had a jungle theme, so Jungle Camo is logical. Kenzo had its first public fashion show right here on the 14th of April 1970 in front of this gallery, which was Kendo Takada's first shop called Jungle Jap. Ça vous fait quoi d'être à côté de là où il a fait son premier défilé C'est iconique en fait. Je me sens un peu spécial, tu vois. On se dit ah, on a de la chance d'être là et tout ça. Voilà, entouré de bonnes personnes en plus. He would soon dress his at night on the second floor. Kenzo instantly brought a playfulness, a lightness, and a sense of Japan to the rather stale French fashion scene of the time. But why is it important to show here in Gallery Vivienne? Kenzo san was the first place to show up. Well, Kenzo's place was the first place to show up. Well, it's all about A very Dick Tracy coat. 70 is written on his thread. I feel so good, j'aime beaucoup. C'est Kenzo. C'est élégant. Ouais. J'aime beaucoup. C'est magnifique. C'est magnifique. C'est chic. 1970 is written on her beret. Fun fact, Nigo was born in 1970. He is as old as the Kenzo brand. The bokeh flower, giant, and missable. Beware, bokeh is not a word that's accepted in Scrabble. The bokeh flower becoming a super recognizable new Kenzo logo. Elements of Americana like this typically Western American decorations on the shirt. Nigo is of course obsessed by the American dream wardrobe. Oh man, it gives me like full on like Wes Anderson vibes. You know, Rushmore. That's what it feels like to me. You know, it's like, you know, 1950s and 60s clothing through the lens of like 1980s life, but shot in 2022. Sadly, we won't broadcast it for obvious copyright reasons, but the soundtrack is a preview of Nigo's upcoming album called I Know Nigo, with contributions from Pharrell Williams, Azaproki, Pushati, Kid Cudi, Teriyaki Boys, Lil Uzi Vert, and Tyler the Creator. It's mis en place, quoi. Ah, c'est un petit bonhomme. Oui, c'est un petit tigre. Mm. Avec le petit pince Kenzo. The first Kenzo Tiger of the collection, another icon of the brand. Here, it's a striped knitted scarf that ends with a tiger head. A cute way to check the tiger that was on one billion Kenzo sweaters. The Kenzo Tiger Head is roaring again. An exercise in branding the Kenzo K on the cardigan and the Kenzo logo as a skirt. Kenzo Takada loved to change the logo of the brand every two seasons. Here, this is a typography of the 1984 logo and the red of the very first logo. Just a giant, naive, bold flower. The Kenzo man is a student. We are on a serious Ivy League note. It's a very Japanese obsession for the Ivy League look the casual 1950s uniforms of the American universities. The varsity jacket, symbol of sometimes toxic masculinity, becomes pink and lighter. The Kenzo wardrobe is colorful and surprising, but must be able to go directly from the catwalk to the sidewalk showing some Kenzo muscle with knit, another Kenzo thing. His mother knitted a jacket for him before he left for Paris. The French press was instantly a big fan of Kenzo's colorful knits. A flower buckle belt on a Jacquard fantasy. Over this occidental suit, he's wearing a classic Japanese jacket called the Hanten, a traditional pattern that's still worn today. And of course, it's unisex. This apron is directly inspired by the official tea ceremony aprons, adding a Japanese traditional layer on occidental tailoring. Kenzo <laughs> 
そのスタートですね。What is Kenzo bringing to fashion? まあ何を持ってきたかというとよりはその僕らにとって特に日本人にとって外に出ていくというかねその道を作ってくれたのでそれがやっぱ。Yes, he looks like the young Kenzo Takada taking over Paris and the fashion world in 1970. Classic suits can also be big. Kenzo wants to be known for creativity but also reliability for a classic suit. Not too classic but not too not classic neither. I don't know if it's clear. La petite gavroche qu'on aime beaucoup, c'est très classe. Exactement, médaille de mode. C'est la médaille de mode pour notre créateur. This series of suits is a clear reference to the suits Kenzo Takada himself was seen wearing at the end of his fashion shows. A tweed tricolor suit or this bicolor suit, my favorite of the season, I have to say. This pink is referenced as begonia pink by the house. Green and pink or blue and gray. A few years later, the new wave of Japanese designers showing in France would have a black palette, but Kenzo was all about colors. Functional, comfortable, user friendly, that's the core of Kenzo Takada's fashion. He died in October 2020 because of COVID. Nigo studied in the same fashion school as Kenzo Takada. He's been collecting tons of Kenzo pieces from vintage shops. Mustafa can't resist a check with Tyler and Kanye West. Nigo stands up and takes his first ever Kenzo bow. Nigo's done it again. He's reinventing the wheel. Nigo is just a visionary. And everything he touches, man, he turns to gold. Show was P. I loved it. All the pieces was fire. What did you Nico, notice? Nico, I need some of those pieces ASAP. Which one did you notice? Um, I noticed the, the leather with the fur coat with the, with the yellow hood. It was chocolate all covered up at the bottom. Um, I noticed this, what I had on. Yeah, all the boots was fire. I need every boot too. You know what I'm saying? So he came. Great show. Are we pushing feet? I loved it. The show was amazing. I mean, he gave these things to everybody for us to keep warm and stuff. But he doesn't miss. You know, he doesn't miss. And I think having. You know, him as a Japanese designer and an icon that all of us look up to and have been looking up for, to for almost 30 years. To have him up there with the greats, you know, the, you know, to have him do what he's doing with the house. You know, it's a Japanese house with the LV, with, you know, in the LVMH family, like that's a big deal. You know, we have Ray Kawakuba, you know, we have Yoji Yamamoto, you know, we have the, we had Kenzo as a brand and we got Nigo. And it's like him taking over to Kenzo is like game changer. Can you tell me about your glasses?、Um, Tiffany. I just, I just see things differently. <laughs> Julia Fox and Kanye West leave the Galerie Vivienne. And then we're going to walk to the car. Yeah. It's Sunday morning in Paris. Nothing is happening in town except for this. Voilà, 
as this was my report about the debut collection of Nigo at Kenzo. Subscribe to the channel to see all the fashion action, activate the notification bell, leave a cool comment and binge on all my other fashion videos. I hope you enjoyed. Bisous! <laughs>